Hey Gospelite, Josiah Capacey here, and I'm excited to share another testimony about our Community Compassion Project. And I've um, heard nothing but good things from everyone that's participated in it. And we've had a great response from our church of volunteers to help. And we've been able to really be a blessing to many people in our own church and in our community outside of our church, uh, helping people uh, that are in need. And so my testimony is pretty cool and unique. And I want to focus on the fact that when um, a group of us can come together to help bless somebody, it just takes a little bit from each person and we can make a huge impact. And so... Um, our small group, my small group, got together and pitched in just $10 each um, to buy this family groceries. And um, it was just an awesome opportunity for us to, you know, when we all pitched in a little bit of money, it was easy for us to make a big impact on this family's life. And um, these two girls and a one-year-old boy um, requested some groceries. And we had some things that we donated out of our own closet uh, pantry as well. And so we just did a little bit here and there from all of our small group, and I was able to go deliver them, and nothing but extreme gratitude and thankfulness from this family, and I could tell it was really made a difference uh, for them. The girl that I spoke to, she actually lost her job. Um, she worked at the convention center uh, due to the virus. So. Um, it was a really, really awesome uh, blessing for them, and it was a blessing for us as a small group to be able to pitch in and uh, bless this family. So um, I want to encourage you, if you haven't gotten involved with that, to get involved with this uh, project, to really be the hands and feet of Jesus. Um, the virus has stopped a lot of things. It's uh, shut down a lot of things, but it hasn't shut down the gospel and the mission that we have as a church to go and spread the love of Christ uh, with our community. So love y'all, church. Hey, I'm Jordan Elkins, and I was blessed to be a part of this Compassion Project. I heard of a family that had some needs. Uh, they reached out to our church about some things that their family needed during this time, and I reached out to our Ignite ministry, which is our young adult community here at Gospel Light. And I told them of this family that had these needs and they had these things that uh, they were asking for, and we came together and we were able to donate $150 worth of food to this family just from, from our young adults giving of their resources and giving of the things that they had. Uh, we were able to bless these people and share with them the love of Christ and share with them the grace of God in this time. Hello, Gospelite. My name is Ken Reed, and I'm here to bring you an update on the Community Compassion Project that we've been having the past couple of weeks. Um, if you haven't already, I'd really encourage you to check it out. It's on our website, gospelite.org. And there are a couple ways that you can get involved in this project. One is you can sign up to help those that have been affected by this COVID-19 crisis. Secondly, if you've been affected, you can go on there and sign up and put in a request to receive help. And another way that you can help is if you just spread the word about the project. Someone that you might know needs help and you might not be able to help them personally, but you can point them to our website where they can sign up and receive the help they need. Lauren Hoffman, one of our uh, Christian school teachers and a church member here was able to do that this week. She met a young lady that was in need of some groceries and she pointed her towards our website where she filled out the form and left us a list of things that she needed. And that list made its way to my small group and I, and within just a few hours of hearing that need, the small group came together and raised enough money to get her everything that was on that list. And then in that same afternoon, I was able to deliver all those things to her. And she was just so grateful. She was taking care of her niece and nephew, as well as living with her mother, and just asked for prayer in a need to find a job uh, during this time and it was just such a blessing to see a group of people come together and help someone that they've never met in this time of need and I would really encourage you if you can to sign up and be a blessing during this tough time with our Community Compassion Project. <laughs>